I was thinking other 3D artists might be interested in seeing a quick rundown of how I made this unicorn character in Unity. I made him as part of a promotional video for the Castle Valley photogrammetry assets and also as a portfolio piece. I've got to say this was the most challenging animated character I've made yet. I had to deal with anisotropic, glowing, animated shaders, hair, quadruped animation, scanned and sculpted meshes, all that. Honestly, he turned out better than I'd hoped, but I had a lot of obstacles and way too many steps and way too many hours start to finish. Still, it was a lot of fun for me since he's modeled after my real horse's great-grandfather, Criterion. So kind of sentimental. So to start, I modeled him in 3D coat using their voxel sculpting, which I like a lot. I also like doing retopology in 3D coat, because I can use the hotkeys on my 3D mouse almost entirely. As for the UVs, it turns out the Aniso shader in Unity HDRP depends on UV orientation. I gave up trying to modify the tangent map uh, to paint my own directions since that caused the shadows to change along with the shine. I like to use X normal for baking and again 3D coat for painting rather than substance painter. The horn was quite a sculpture itself. I used the same voxel sculpting, but when it came to retopology, I decided to use the decimation technique. 3D coat has smart materials similar to substance. I mainly like its Photoshop style workflow. I did some tricks with a second UV set and learned a little about amplify shaders to create the animated material for the horn. I think it turned out okay considering I'm not a shader expert. For the saddle I used high detail photogrammetry using Zephyr. It took several different scans to capture all the pieces, which I then had to conform to the horse mesh in 3D Studio. Here you can see how much detail was actually captured. As you can see here, 3D Coat is really good at cutting and packing UV layouts. One problem with photogrammetry is that shiny surfaces can trick the camera and cause small surface distortion. I used 3D Coat to iron out the high poly mesh and smooth down the shiny leather before baking normals. With photogrammetry, you always need to paint out the shadows before your texture is complete. I think the saddle turned out great, but it was a lot of work to make it this authentic. The bridle and bit were hand modeled, but were based on the real deal. So Unity cloth is broken, period. I went with Magicka cloth for the mane and tail. The texture was made from photographs of my horse's actual tail. And to keep the hair layers from Z fighting, I wrote an amplify shader to push the outermost hair cards outwards just a little. Now it's finally starting to look like a real unicorn. So here's the skeleton. This is a deep subject unto itself and I have my own particular rigged setup preferences. I have a lot of helper bones to guarantee I get the right deformations. And uh, I haven't done any more animations than I needed to for the promo video, but perhaps someday I'll do more with Criterion the Unicorn. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and perhaps it's given you some ideas. I've been thinking about doing even more in-depth videos about photogrammetry and game art. Well, if enough people find it interesting, I'll put in the extra effort and uh, make more of these. See you next time.